Hello and welcome to another Excel demo with Rich Kerr. In this scenario, we're going to take another look at the VLOOKUP function, only we're going to name the range that contains the data we're looking up. Uh, so if you want to pause the video for a moment and set up some sample data, then after the break we'll, uh, we'll go ahead and make it happen. Okay, so in this case, I'm going to actually select the range of cells uh, that I'm going to be doing the VLOOKUP against. And uh, a, a nice keyboard shortcut for that is Control Shift End. So the Control and Shift keys together with the End E N D key that does uh, a good job of selecting your contiguous range of data. And so I'm going now to the Name box, which is the area above the spreadsheet, which currently is listed as A2. It has a value of A2 because that's the anchor cell of the range I've selected. So I'm going to click there, and I'm going to call this range order info and you must hit the enter key when you type a name for your range and your name cannot contain spaces and it can't start with a number or pound sign or anything wacky like that so just use uh, you know plain names no spaces now one of the things we love about named ranges is that they're globally accessible throughout the workbook without having to reference the sheet name so let's go over to sheet 2 and on sheet two, I'll type order number and uh, salesperson. So my goal is to enter an order number and with the VLOOKUP function, retrieve the name of the salesperson. So I'll type eight as my order number. And now in my VLOOKUP formula, I will reference A2 as my lookup value, comma. And now here's where the benefit of the named range for this scenario kicks in. I don't have to mention the name of the sheet. I don't have to type A2 through D10 or whatever the last cell is. I can simply type order info. And you may notice that the name of my range even appears in the drop down list of Excel functions. So I can arrow down to it and tab to finish filling it in or click it with my mouse or just type it in. So that's my table array or range in this example comma and the column index number is the column number that has the value that I'm trying to retrieve so the salesperson is listed in column 3 of that range called order info and then finally comma this is an exact match so we use the false value here to say that it is not an approximate lookup it is an exact lookup and now when I hit the enter key it retrieves Porsche as the salesperson uh, and if I type in number two it's Sarah or number six it's Jennifer and again it is the uh, power of the named range that lets me just reference it like this and I don't have to mention the name of the sheet so that is VLOOKUP using a named range to identify the source data for the VLOOKUP formula I hope this is helpful please tune in again soon for more Excel videos have a productive day